Hi, my name is John Jeeves and I'm really excited to bring you this video series in partnership with CK Music and Mackie. Studio monitor placement is one of the most important things in setting up a studio, second only to proper acoustic treatment. So today, let's take a look at how we can set up our studio monitors properly. Okay, so today we're going to position our studio monitors in three easy steps. All you need is your room, your fancy producer chair, your studio monitors, a pair of speaker stands, and measuring tape. The first thing we want to do is make sure we have the right orientation. That refers to which direction your speakers are facing. Make sure that your speakers are placed along the short wall firing down the length of the long wall. This will give you a good room length to work with and make it much easier for you to find the sweet spot for the listening position. The second step is to find the listening spot. We do this by placing our chair at the 38% point of the length of the room and right down the middle of the width of the room. So if your room is 7 meters long, you would place your chair 2.7 meters from the front wall and if your room is 3 meters wide, you would place it 1.5 meters from the left wall and from the right wall. This positioning helps us to avoid what we call nodal points that cause imbalances in the frequency response. The third step is to position your speakers in an equilateral triangle. This means that the distance between the two speakers is the same distance between your ear and each speaker. Also, make sure to angle your speakers so that you only see the front face of the speaker and not the sides. This helps you get the most accurate stereo image. Adjust the height of the studio monitors on the speaker stands so that the tweeters, those are the small cones at the top of the speaker, are the same height as your ear to get the most balanced sound. Also, the further away the speakers are from the walls and the corners, the more accurate the bass response is going to be. Now we are going to look at setting our studio monitors correctly. We have with us here today my main pair of studio monitors, the Mackie MR824 and my secondary monitors, the Mackie CR3X. The key features of the Mackie MR824 are superior accuracy and clarity, acoustic space control and ultra-wide dispersion. They are designed to give you the most balanced and accurate sound and they also come with a lot of flexible settings that allow you to tailor their sound to your setup. Finally, they have ultra-wide dispersion which means they have a really wide listening sweet spot so even if you move around a little bit, you still get great monitoring results. Let's take a look at acoustic space control. Now as I mentioned earlier, the further away your speakers are from the wall and the corners, the more accurate the bass response is and the nearer your speakers are to the wall and the corners, the more exaggerated the bass will be. However, with Mackie Acoustic Space Control, we can compensate for this should you have space constraints that force your speakers against the wall or into the corners. Now, if your speakers are away from the walls and the corners, you can use setting A. If your speakers are against the wall but away from the corners, you can use setting B. And finally, if your speakers are in the corners, you can use setting C. Now my room isn't very wide, so my speakers are in the corners, therefore I use setting C. There's also a high frequency filter control that allows you to subtly brighten or darken the sound according to your preference. In any case, the Mackie MR824s are versatile enough to suit all your monitoring needs. Now the CR3X is much simpler to set up, just a simple volume knob conveniently placed on the front. This makes balancing the volumes between your main pair of studio monitors and your second pair really easy. I hope you've enjoyed this first video in the series and that it has been both helpful and informative. So please leave us a like, share this with your producer friends who might be interested, and subscribe to the CK Music YouTube channel for more great content from us. Last but not least, I would like to thank CK Music and Mackie for providing this amazing studio gear. Stay tuned for more. This is John Jeeves signing off.
Hi guys, saya Azam. Saya Sales Advisor dekat Skin Music. So hari ni saya nak tunjuk macam mana kita nak record gitar ataupun vokal menggunakan iPad ataupun iPhone. Okay, so hari ni saya tunjukkan kau guna iPad sebab skrin lagi besar. Okay, apa yang kita perlukan first adalah iPad. Yang kedua, kita perlukan audio interface. So sini saya gunakan Zoom U22. Ini adalah satu channel audio audio interface. Okay, so next kita perlukan camera adapter. So camera adapter ni untuk kita sambungkan USB masuk ke kita punya iPad. Next adalah kabel printer kabel. Yang ni untuk sambung interface pergi ke camera adapter lah. And next kita perlukan headphone. So headphone ni untuk kita monitor sound gitar ataupun vokal yang kita tengah record tadi. Okay, so jom saya tunjukkan macam mana cara nak pasang dia. Radio Ooh. Hello go, guys go, go, go. And today Yes oh. <laughs> Welcome to our live stream mm -hmm. This is the MCO live stream volume 31 Alright so What we have special with us today actually is that uh, With us Your hosts uh, Ben And Max. Yep Today we're going to we are going to play a short game with you guys, alright? Hey, what's the game called? The game is called The Price, Price is Right, CK right. Music Edition, alright? <laughs> um, and well. you guys, if you guys uh, are interested to know, alright? Today, yeah. we are actually going to talk about getting started with, with your home, home studio. studio. Right? Mm. So, of course, there are a lot of things that you can use and a lot of setups, right? Yeah. So, in this setup that we'll be talking about, we'll be going from everything from the most affordable? basic and affordable all the way to money no object <laughs> professional <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes yeah all right guys so don't forget to like share yes. and subscribe and comment get the notification on so you won't miss the streams yes so right. today we're going to play the price is right <laughs> uh do do they bring any price then? <laughs> if we get the if do they win any prize if they get the the prize correct? Yes, you will win a shout out. If <laughs> you guys are right, <laughs> you guys can guess what the price of the products are, you guys will get that out there, right? Yo, hello Miru. <laughs> Thank ah, you. Thanks thank for, you for watching. Joining. Yep. Hey. So, so what wow. do we start with? Today we got handful. Yes, today. as you can see, we have a whole uh, mm -hmm. desk full of products in front of us. Yeah, yes, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, the First question that a lot of people are going to ask us is, yeah, yeah. where do I start? Mm -hmm. Right? Start from the bottom. Yeah. Uh, hey, Norish. <laughs> thanks Hi. for joining, girl. And we also have uh, Mr. Mr. Kevin, is it? Kevin, yeah. Yes, Mr. Kevin. Set offset. Audio oh, out, out of sync. Is it? Internet today? Um, probably internet's a little slow. Yeah. A bit uh, sorry for that part of it. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it should be getting better as the the stream goes. The stream yeah, goes. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, with that, with that. Uh, by the way, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, thank you. And thanks for the feedback also. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. Uh, one of the things that uh, a lot of people ask is where do we start? Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, you probably you don't have any uh, e uh setup for any studio, right? So the first question that uh, we will ask back to you is yeah, like what type of a studio do you want mm -hmm, to set up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, when I say what type of studio, right? Home studios mm -hmm. are a now it's a very wide. Say it's a home studio now is like how to say the, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Home studio now is more like a, quite a general term. Already. Yes. Because that for like game streaming you're also considered a studio, studio yes. music producing is also a studio that's so correct mm -hmm. so it's like multi-purpose right? mm -hmm. there's a like general term right? so when you talk about home studio it's mm -hmm. not specifically for you to record music yeah alright it can also include uh, probably a live stream live stream studio yeah, live stream studios. you could consider a podcast studio yeah podcast uh, 
you could consider yourself a classroom studio mm-hmm. like a uh, music teachers class, right yeah. you will want to you have your music room mm-hmm. or that is your little studio also yeah. where you would like to stream for your students yeah okay so when we talk about setting up your home studio we are covering all oh. this today mm-hmm. uh, so if you have any questions guys please do throw the comments down and we will answer you yeah. also right so let's start with the most uh, core basic that uh, anyone would mm-hmm. go into mm-hmm. so, so what can you start today all right let's say you are just coming into this mm-hmm. and you yeah. just want to do uh, probably a simple vocal record or voice over yeah. or okay. for gaming purpose gaming like also streaming so streaming yeah, yeah. So or live stream so to d- now we are starting like um, if i like ba- ba- basic la, like ba- basic la, ta- okay. target for like like ne- no idea yes. just want to try out you just want to try it out yep. and see something that mm-hmm. what you want to go into mm-hmm. for that we would actually recommend you to Start off with probably as simple as a USB microphone. A US, yeah. Right. So, uh, with so me, I have one of the most uh, affordable ones, and this is actually a really good uh, USB microphone. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is called the Samsung Meteor. One of the things great about this is that the fact that it has a USB output since yeah. it's a USB microphone. Then you also have a headphone output. Oh. Okay. Right. So this becomes your complete audio device for you to do everything. Right, if you are thinking of doing like even uh, piano classes or things like that, this would be a good place to start with, and the price would be three seventy. Yes. Okay. Hey, we should let them guess the price. Sh- I should announce the price. It's alright. Yeah, it's okay. For this one, yeah. uh, but later on as we go, mm. yeah. Right. So this would be a very fair place for you to start yeah. uh, creating your own content. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're looking at this, this is actually a condenser mic also, but okay. it's a quite a small compact one. You could probably fit in your handbag and take around with you with a laptop, and yeah. you'll be ready to go. But man, yes. Uh, I want to ask you a question. I can't see, even though I have four eyes. But uh, is there any like a uh, direct monitoring there? Yes, that's what I just mentioned. The headphones output here is uh-huh. a direct monitoring. Oh, okay. So uh, it's the back, and the knob there is the volume. Yes, this would be the main volume for your. Uh, headphones. Can right. this one um, apply add to the microphone stands? Okay, use it. Okay, we have a question stand. first. All right, oh, this all right. will be an interesting one. How important is it to acoustically treat a room? Actually, oh, okay. All right, that's an interesting question. That's a good yeah. question. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kevin. Mm-hmm. In all honesty, I it is not. As important as a lot of people, uh, as as my thing, yeah, as my thing, it's quite yes. like a misconception that oh, you need to treat the room first, yes. then only get the gear itself. Uh, mm-hmm. it helps if you're going to go into doing like real professional yeah. recording yeah. and you don't want any yeah, interference yeah. or things yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. But if you're looking at even like currently where Tra- we yeah, are, we this uh, is not, not a treated, treated room. Yeah. It's not a treated room. Yeah. This is basically our office. Yeah. Uh, but you still get good sound, mm-hmm. and that has to do with the equipment that we use. Yes, that, yeah, ah. that's true. Actually, if you are, you really like want to try, like want to treat the room a bit, curtains do help. Curtains help. Yeah, just like uh, some dampening itself. Curtains. Yes. Like if you think that's also, if it's like uh, that room is very noisy, like maybe you can consider a dynamic mic itself. Bingo. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So. How important is acoustic treatment? Mm-hmm. It is not as important. Yeah. It's a good help. Mm-hmm. But what's most important is the equipment that you're going to use. Yeah. Because yeah. that is where 90% of your sound quality sound already be, starts yeah. at. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, um, so if like if you spend like few thousand just treat the room but the mic is crappy, mm. defeats the purpose. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, you right. continue with your mics? Yes. Uh, Azam, thanks for joining. Thank nice you. Nice to see you around. Okay, so um, this would be a good place to start on, mm-hmm. and uh, this would really help out to for you to probably get into doing things, yep. especially if you're gamers and things like that. Something small like this that won't interfere with your screen and all really helps. Mm-hmm. Or uh, just like a like like a normal uni lecturer on the yes. online classes or that. Yes, exactly. Now, going up a little bit more. Th- th- this is also another USB microphone, but what this is really nice is this is actually. Uh, consider a large diaphragm uh, condenser microphone mm-hmm. that is uh, set up to use via USB. And the best part is also, again, direct monitoring. Uh, okay. The importance of direct monitoring is when you're doing recording, especially if you're doing vocal recordings and things like that, 
you want to be able to hear what you're recording with yep. what you're listening to and your headphones is coming in very important okay so we will come to the headphones later okay, right yeah. but uh, this is a really good place to start also if you're going to go just a basic starting starting up of your home studio right. probably you want to record something simple like an acoustic mm-hmm. guitar with a bit of vocals like this a is a real place unplug, to go like a unplug session yep mm-hmm. exactly this is a very good place to go you can really get it at a very affordable price mm-hmm. and so yeah. The so model of this is also the Sam- Samsung C01U Pro. The price also is a no. It's me say it's like four fifty five. Exactly. Large diaphragm condenser. Condenser. Uh-huh. It's a full condenser microphone. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have another comment from Mr. Aaron over there. What did he say? Bass guitar. Bass review. guitar reviews, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we just did one. Right? You yeah. were there the last the one last that we did. One, yeah. yeah, we did the effects. Yes, a uh, multi-effect processor for the bass. Mm. We'll be right. coming more in the future. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Right. So thanks for yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Also yeah. Also yeah. yeah, we will. We will definitely do. Mm. Uh, so yeah. Now, talking about these guys, uh, the next question would be. Would you require to get yourself a headphones? Yeah. Right. Or should you go for headphones or, or a studio monitor? Studio monitors. We did a full session on that. On that, in yes. The previous stream. So mm. go check yep. that out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see what is that. Okay. Tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow will be about bass amps. Oh, ah, okay. Nice. Right. Great. That's so a treat for yeah. you, Mr. Aaron. Yep. So, so tomorrow that will hmm. be coming up. Okay. So wow. yeah. While you're talking about the USB mics. What I have here is also a USB mic. Mm. So, if you really have a little bit of a budget, you can go one step up a notch. Yes, so and that would be mm, that would be here. Up to you. Yep. So what I have here is the Samsung satellite. This is a what they call the broadcasting mic, which is a really handy tool itself. Also, because not only this one is a, oh yeah, make for computers, but this one is re- uh you can. Use it on Android and iOS device itself. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want to go on a hassle like buying or or have a uh, what is it online conference, I want to have a lecture on the iPad. I don't want to buy the extra camera, the photography dongle for the Apple. This one they already provided is a, a micro USB and they convert it to the lightning, lightning cable yes. itself. And what good about it is also it have a lot of patterns on it. It have a cardioid. Mm-hmm. It has the figure eight and what is the call session? Omnidirectional. Omnidirectional. So, it's um yeah, it's a condenser, but is this is more of a mid to bass heavy? It give you like a podcast very nice sound to it. Sound. Yeah, and there's a direct monitoring here, mm-hmm. and with the volume itself uh, just here. And if you don't want direct monitoring, you can switch it off. But the best part of this product is, you can just there's a mute button. So if you are doing like a podcast or you're like hosting your own radio show when you want to mm. play the music, you cue in the music and you want to mute the mic itself, it won't have least a pop because it's a touch. It's a touch sensitive. It's not yeah, a, it's a, it's touch not a button switch, switch really, actually. It's really, a uh, need to for it. Mm-hmm. And it looks super great. Yeah. Now, if you want to step one one more step up a notch. Oh, before that, this one is cost five fifty, mm-hmm. And it can record in 24-bit. Yes. But if you want to step one more notch, a notch, we will have this. This is the Mackie EMUSB. It's also a condenser mic. And this is really taking it up. Up there. It's up really there up there. So it has a, you have a gain control. You have a, uh, the volume monitor, headphone monitor, monitoring. Yeah, monitoring and the mute button itself. This one, hmm. If you say, oh, I want to record vocal, I want to record music instrument, occasionally I want to do a podcast, this one can do it all. Yes. Literally can do it all because this one is considered like up there already on the EM series itself. And yeah, but there's one thing about this product is that uh, when you want to do the direct monitoring, you really need to co- uh, hook it up to the DAW to itself, the software. To s- switch it on. Then you only can. It do follows the direct monitoring from the from software. the software itself. Mm. We will get to the software. Yeah, it's, we, there's, a nice there's, uh, some new, there's a new shout out coming out yeah. on that one, right? So, so we'll, stay we'll to the end it. on that. Mm. <laughs> so this one is the Mackie EM USB. It's a really, really like up there mm-hmm. because this costs eight hundred and twenty-five ringgit. Yeah, it's a little costly, but uh, 
if you are like really looking for like a professional, a really good yeah, sound, you want to sing, cover, record instruments, all that, and maybe like you already for this one is like uh, intermediate to professional. Like if you're already doing streaming, you're already doing gaming, it's like time to upgrade. This one is yeah, this, this, is this both of these are yeah, mm, both of them are really good for that. Can really do like a one step up mm. for it, and actually it won't break your wallet also because it's less than a thousand. Yes, mm. less than a thousand on that. Mm-hmm. And uh, the other part about this is uh, as I was mentioning earlier, the fact that all these microphones have what we call direct monitoring yeah. and. For direct monitoring, it is most of the time it's actually recommended to use headphones with your direct monitoring mm-hmm. because you don't want the sounds from the headphones to also be interfered with the microphone again. Yeah, uh, these are very so sensitive okay, microphones. Yourself, yeah. uh, oh, also, yes, yeah, uh, there's a I do figure out when you are in the uh, Windows settings itself, right? They say, oh yeah, listen to this device. A lot of people don't. That one is a monitoring, but no, that no. one is a listen back, which is cause a lot of delay, a lot of latency between. Yeah, and you it will make you really disoriented when you listen yes, back to yourself. Yes, it's yes. a different compared to that is what direct monitoring. monitoring. Direct yeah. monitoring is a uh, very Zero low latency, latency uh, monitoring mm, yeah. setup, and uh, that really really helps a lot when you're coming to doing uh, yeah. music recording, mm-hmm. vocals, mm-hmm. even doing conferences also at oh, times. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that really helps a lot. Mm-hmm. Right, so um, that would be for the most basic, basic uh, startup set, setup yeah. that you could actually do uh, to set up. Maybe start uh-huh. up a simple home studio for yourself uh, with nothing much on your end. Mm-hmm. But the next step is where we start going into getting better equipments. Yep. All right. So uh, one of the things that we can start with is, of course, audio interface. Yes. All right. Uh, a lot of people uh, consider audio interfaces to be just a small, sound simple cards. sound card. All mm-hmm. right. But that is really putting it at a very uh, small. Uh, you're you're putting it under a coconut shell, uh, in, yeah. in general, uh, because everything that we have in front of here, all right, is it's functioning as audio interface. Yeah. All right. It all works as an audio interface, mm-hmm. and uh, what makes this the difference in the price range and all the things is. The type of preamps you get in yeah, it, yeah. the functions you get with it, and things like that, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, you do mention before that because, uh, yeah, I do. When you expose me to the USB mics, it's, yeah, it's really handy, really mm-hmm. easy to use. But what you say is, if you use like a XLR mic and the different co- uh, audio interface itself is a different sound, right? Yes, because correct. Because the different preamp is it? Yes, it? that's correct. Mm-hmm. Like, um, Example, uh, just to throw a simple example, right? These guys over here, um, these are the Mackie uh, Onyx. Uh, this is the Onyx. Uh, I would say this is the Onyx Artist over here. And uh, this would actually be one of the most uh, straightforward, simple one to use. Uh, it's an audio interface, all right? And this comes, why it's called the Onyx Artist is if you can look at here, it actually is written here. It has the Onyx preamp, Onyx mic preamp, right? This is a studio grade uh, preamp, which actually makes the sound, your vocal sounds, much clearer, uh-huh. much better, mm-hmm. right? It's uh, it's a world of difference. Uh, if you listen to one that has a cheap preamp to something that has a proper preamp like this, all right? And uh, talking about this, uh, we talk about audio interfaces, right? Let's start with uh, probably the Zoom ones because they mm-hmm. are actually they have a few range over there, and I think that's over at your side over there, right? Yeah, it's on here. All right. So let's start off with the U twenty two, the most affordable one. This one is the U twenty two, as you can see, little yep. guy. Not much of an input, just a combo jack, yep. or I call it the hybrid. Ah, oh, my uh, camera can focus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So mm. it has a combo jack in it, so you can plug in XLR mic and the quarter inch itself. Mm-hmm. It has high Z and phantom power. Yes. So this one actually kind of until now, phantom power. There's still a lot of misconception about it. Yes. So if you are using a condenser mic, yes, you sh- must have a co- uh, phantom power. If not, you won't power them on. Mm-hmm. And if you are using a dynamic mic. No, phantom power mo- won't make them sound better. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Phantom power, a lot of misconception when people get this kind of equipment is that I have a dynamic mic. If I plug it in and I accidentally on the phantom power, it's going to blow my microphone. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll burn out the microphone. No, it's no, not. It uh, because a dynamic mic does not have the circuitry for a phantom power. Yeah. 
right? So y- getting this is not going to affect anything, yeah, right? And it won't make your sound better. Okay, mm. let's continue with this. Okay. All right. Cool. So yeah. So this is the unit itself. It's a U twenty two. There we go. So this is the handy knob for your game. Mm-hmm. And which what's good about like this product? There's there's a LED here, so it will let you know uh, less signal coming in. If it's blinking red, which means it's already clipping. Yeah. This one is the output. So you can adjust the volume here. The output of this unit is RCA. Yeah. So and this you can yeah. go to your uh mm. like probably a monitor speakers. Yeah, monitor speakers like more of a more affordable ones. Mm-hmm. If you want to get like the uh. And there you go in focus. Oh, like a higher grade <laughs> s- monitors because they don't have some have, which mm-hmm. is the like the. This guys actually have. Yeah, yeah. we we'll, we will show that later, yep. and to power this, they also use USB only, which mm. is very handy itself. And mm-hmm. at the side here, there's a s- a few switch for you. Mm. All right, so this is the phantom power for your condenser mic. There's the direct monitoring if you want to optional, and there's three f- uh power source here. You can use it on USB. Mm-hmm. Now it's set to battery because you yep. can use it with two double A battery itself. It's a really really handy tool. Yes, and uh, one of the things about uh going from just a prop normal USB microphone like this into audio interface is the ability for you to plug in. Uh, directly plug in things like uh, instruments mm-hmm. and uh, when I don't mean that I mean like you can probably use a electric guitar going in and then use softwares yeah. to probably get your plug ins uh, sounds it's like yeah. effects and things effects, like that yeah. that is where an audio interface starts to come into mm-hmm. play uh, if you guys are interested to set up your own uh, home studio where you guys are going to be doing your recording like you want to record your guitar yeah. parts and you want to record another keyboard then you want to record a um, what do you call that? Like yeah. microphone. Th- this pieces. way, the other the interface itself comes in. Yes. So, oh, so if you like, just want to have a vocal recording, do some podcast, solo podcast, or Even just want to chat with friends or yes. uh, game streaming. Yep. The U twenty two can do just just that. That's a very good place hmm. to start. Uh, for your home studio, and probably get that, and you could probably get yourself something mm-hmm. like this. Uh, uh Mackie yeah. CR series. Yeah. Uh. This would be really a good place to start or with. Or, or f- it's just if you are just a gamer, yeah, you can just, just wear a headphones. Yeah, we get the headphones. Yeah, yeah. You doesn't need like another gaming sound card already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you are oh, and this one costs less than four hundred bucks. It's just three hundred seventy. Yes, three seventy is a really good uh, deal over there. So if you want to go one step up, there will be this will be the U twenty four. Let me get it up close for you. There we go. There's a U twenty four, which as you can see. There's two combo jacks. Yeah, There's you get a lot more yeah. uh, inputs and outputs from it. Mm-hmm. And if you have the own gain here, mm-hmm. instead of here, you uh, tune the gain on the DAW. And it's what Ben men- mentioned just now, that if you want to record mics with instruments, this is where it comes to play. Yes, you can yeah. do it simultaneously. So you're talking about uh, recording, uh, let's say I want to record my guitar, mm-hmm. and while I'm playing guitar, I want to record my vocals. Yeah. But I want to record it on two different tracks, tracks separately. Yeah. So okay, uh, so I can do my post editing later. Yeah, yes, yeah. a multi track recording. Yeah. Uh, using the U twenty two just now, uh, the U twenty two, the previous one, the small one, right? Oh, yep. Okay. That one. You can only do one at one a time because yeah, the input. There's only here. one input, so you can only do one at a time. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to use the U twenty four, right? You can do two at once, and this is most uh, of the. Uh, Audio interfaces yeah. actually allow you to up to two tracks two simultaneously. Tracks, yeah. There are those which go much larger. Uh, yeah, so there's we'll right? cover later. We'll cover. We'll be coming to that. So instruments, they are quarter inch, right? So mm-hmm. you can just go in here if you want to have the microphone. You go in here. Yes. And the there's the a very nice uh, function on that one actually. Yeah. If you take a look at it, you have what we call studio the m- what a uh, monitoring yeah. selection A and B at the bottom there. Yeah. Where is at it? At the here? bottom there. Yep. Yeah. yeah. There we go. You see the A and the B, right? So you can actually hook up to two different setups. So you could probably use one with your headphones in your main out, and then you and the sorry, you can use uh speakers, uh monitor mm-hmm. speakers in your main out, and, and you can use headphones at the same time. Yeah, you can just flick it 
with uh, the switch here. Yes. So the other ones will be the line out here for your studio monitors. Yes. As a RCA, uh, RCA a or a line. quarter inch. Yep. And the quarter inch, this one is for your headphones. Mm -hmm. At the back, there's actually technically this one have a uh, more than two outputs because out, uh, input sorry. So because yeah. this one they have the MIDI in here. Yes. Now this is where it becomes interesting. If mm -hmm. you guys are interested in doing things like uh, with uh, keyboards and stuff like that, right? Yep. And you already have a keyboard, but you want to add on more sounds. You could use this interface. Uh, just get a MIDI cable from mm -hmm. your uh, interface. Sorry, from your keyboard all the way to your interface, and use it as a MIDI yep. directly. Ah, uh, so it's a direct play kind of a uh, situation. Uh, but if you're interested to go further, mm -hmm. right? I think the next this one would be will be that. Yeah, but, but the price for this is this one will be six hundred ringgit, mm. and it's also uh, same deal. We can run off the USB power, uh, and the, uh, the battery also same yes. two AA batteries itself. So generally, getting that alone is actually uh, like. Enough. You already are pretty much there Good setting up a intermediate mm -hmm. uh, uh, studio, home studio already. Get this, get yourself a simple monitor, speakers or uh, headphones and you're already good to go. Mm -hmm. Right? So the next one, the this next is one already uh, going up a bit more. Mm -hmm. So this one is actually, you might see, uh, it's like, oh, let me focus here. It's the uh, same as... The twenty-four. Yes. But uh, this one is has a s here, as you can yes, see. Yes, you have the extra SPDIF outs. Yeah. You have the optical ins and, and outs. The optical. So for actually optical, if I for want to see what is, what's the use of optical, right? Like um, a, this is for you when you actually have an optical uh, setup. Yeah, uh, like usually hi-fi, some hi real hi-fi yes. systems actually There's use that. I know because yeah, mm. op uh, optical itself. There's a lot of use for it actually. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually an audio uh, optical. So yep. all the things, uh, data is transmitted via USB, yeah. but the uh, audio, so you could actually use a different type of audio mm -hmm. setup on it. That's, mm -hmm. that's basically what that thing yeah. is. On, on the top itself, everything is the same. Oh yeah, uh, just now I also forgot to, to mention, with the there's a phantom power on the U24, this one also have, mm -hmm. and they also, also have the high z yes. for your acoustic instruments. And at the side here, you can flick the switch, you can use it, as an audio interface or a standalone itself. Yes. So you can this one can act as a mixer. Like there a portable small mixer itself. Yeah, there's one more mixer, yeah, there's one more extra thing about that. Mm -hmm. You can actually use the zoom uh capsules. Yeah, capsule yeah, microphones yeah, yeah. or whichever addition mm -hmm. zoom things. It can be added onto that. If right on the front you can actually open it and there'll be a place for you to connect that into. Yeah. So uh, that opens your it's yeah, quite tight. It's a bit tight because yeah. you don't want dust to get in yeah. there. But uh that would actually open up this particular product to go into a lot more functions. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not just to be used as a normal studio recorder. You can actually use it with other microphones. Yeah, and which is like that. the that's why it's on the standalone mode, which you can use yep. it portability. Yes. So this one is a seven hundred thirty five ringgit. So mm. if you are like that serious about it, then you can go until the forty four. Yes. But if you are intermediate and also looking for an upgrade. 24, yeah, 24 actually 24 is already good already pretty good enough yeah. already okay so um while we are on this uh, topic about uh audio interfaces yeah. right uh if you do not have a keyboard and mm -hmm. you're interested to do like things like uh, electronic music maybe and you want to yeah. play start playing with synthesizers and things like that uh a good setup for your home studio would uh, have to do with uh, interface, mm -hmm. a good microphone like uh, what was probably you could use the dynamics or condensers like this over yeah. here um, they're not very uh, pricey. It's, yeah. it's not going to bust your wallet yeah. to get this stuff. Uh, a good microphone will cost you about 300 odds, 380 mm -hmm. around there. Um, add it on with that interface. The add on with oh, I add I on with the interface. <laughs> then you all within within about a thousand. Yeah. You could get a pretty good setup already. Mm -hmm. But that limits you to only doing vocals and things like guitars. Yeah. But if you want to go to electronic things, a good option would be to add on something like this. A MIDI. A MIDI controller. Right? Um, for most home studios, uh, a lot of people would prefer to use MIDI controllers because rather than buying a whole keyboard and getting 
you know, sounds from there. Using a MIDI controller actually allows you to have more control over your uh, music that you're playing. So this would be a really good addition to have on top of your audio interfaces. Mm -hmm. uh, so things like you can actually adjust your times and make sure the notes that you're playing, it's though it's not right as there. perfect as yeah. what it is, you can actually adjust and make it perfect in it. Mm -hmm. uh, that is what things like this come in. And the good part of this is also, where is that? Yeah, it runs off a uh, USB power. Yeah. So you can power it through USB. You have yeah. a few versions. This is the micro key. So you have the micro key Air, which also has Bluetooth. Yeah. You have different lengths depending mm -hmm. on what you want. This one is the 34 keys, the micro key. Yes, 34. this is the 34 key. So this one is a uh, cost you around 435 ringgit. 435 just for this, and and, yeah, and it's no really it mm -hmm. makes it a whole opens up a whole world for you in your yeah. own uh, studio. Uh. I personally would like to use something like this a kind of setup where mm -hmm. even though I'm a guitarist, I prefer to take um, yeah, a, a simple uh, audio interface with a good microphone for recording the vocals uh -huh. and then get a, a kind of like a MIDI controller like this for me to do my other string parts and yeah, all to add yeah. on and get my own music out. Yeah. But if you're doing what we call a live streaming kind of a setup, then just an audio interface with two good mics and you'll and be really be good, good to do enough, a yeah. good kind of a live stream podcast kind of setup like what we have here yeah right like talk about the on the midi right mm. yeah you're not a pianist i don't even know how to play mus music but i make electronic music yep. quite often but even though i don't know how to play piano <sighs> why midi is useful to me also i can yeah if i can't play in real time i can easily find the melody i want mm. which i have tested uh, it's way easier pressing on the mouse itself Yes, so that's of what uh, MIDI came to play. Yep. Yeah, even though that one is a little bit costly, four hundred plus, but we do have a more we have affordable option. Something like that would yeah. be something like the nano key. Yes. So that one is a micro key. So this one would be a this would be a key. good uh starting point mm -hmm. if uh you're just getting into your own home studio yeah. and creating and music. You just want to try make some uh. Beats music, and music, music yeah, and everything, yeah, yeah. Not that, huh? So this one will be the my uh, nano key, even though it looks small, quite lightweight, but it is a, a it is a very handy controller itself. Mm. So uh, it not only have the keys here, it also has the octave and yeah. the sustain and the modulation and the pitch. Which yeah, is you get the full control of what normal MIDI mm -hmm, controller would mm -hmm, have. Mm -hmm. You know, so this one is a uh, how okay, mm. whoever is watching. Can you guess how much is this? I no one? Okay. <laughs> this one will be two hundred and thirty five ringgit. Yeah. Okay, uh we have a comment from Miss Norish. Uh love the nano key too. Yes. Yeah, the nano key is really fun to mm. be honest. It's really nice and plus it's yeah. so compact. So yeah, something very compact, very to thin. use a nano key with uh probably the U twenty four and get a headphones and you yeah, can really go, go start go producing really. anywhere you want. Yeah. yeah. Of course, Given that you have a good laptop or something to mm -hmm. take along with you, lah, you know. Yeah. Mm. Also, uh, talk about the if you want to go one step up, we do have one. Mm hmm. Oh, this one. This one is called the Nano Key Studio. Yeah. Why is it called a studio? Th this, this is basically all you need for your studio yeah. already, actually. <laughs> MIDI controller here, drum pad here. No nope, oh, drum pad. Drum pad side. here. <laughs> knobs here. Yes. There's no specific. They need to program you can, you can program it to what so you want it to be. Uh, whatever you want it to be and the touchpad here. Yes. So this is what they call, that's why it's called the Nano Studio. And it's just as big as my face, like a tablet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is also another good mm -hmm. one. Uh, Using this, and it can run on Bluetooth. Yeah, you can run on so Bluetooth. So it's wireless. If, it, if your laptop doesn't have the, a, what is it called, the Bluetooth itself, so you can use the Wii. Yeah. From, by uh, CME. CME. There are a lot of things, a lot of ways that you can mm -hmm. configure. Uh, this entire uh, episode that we are doing is we are giving you the options on how to get started uh, depending on how much uh, you would like to invest, yeah. right? Yeah. Of course, uh, investing more, you get more functions get more and functions, all. Yeah. But that's up to you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we will go on more. And uh, one of the things that I like about open setting up your own studio is because of the amount of uh, versatility that you can get yeah. and the amount of equipment that you can get so price will never be a problem for you mm -hmm. uh, 
because a lot of times uh, people are like I don't have much money I just want to start something simple you know and a lot of that is where uh, this kind of setups yeah they do come, come in. into play yeah and what's uh, how the fun thing about uh, having all these here is that there's like a endless uh, combination here where you can take whatever the interface itself whatever mic and it's endless You, mm. if you want it to have a condenser you want it to have a dynamic there's a lot you can pick just yes. how much uh, what you mentioned how much you want to invest on it and talk about the Nano Key Studio that one will cost you 655 mm-hmm. and there's I have one more interesting one MIDI is called the Nano Pad yeah Here, which is what we are using yeah. That's where MIDI comes really handy to play because it's not only used for DAW, you can make music itself. It can use it as a controller because it's a controller. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing here. This one's hooked on because we're switching. We are using it to switch camera Switch angles. cameras. But you can yeah. actually use it to switch different uh, functions yeah. uh, in your yeah, recording. Yeah, or yeah, like the patches. Yes. Or what I want it to it make just a depend how you set it up. Yeah. Mm. So this way, uh, MIDI if control is really handy. Itself. Another thing good about the nano pads is the fact that the nano pads actually... Uh, you can use it to do things like drum pads. Yeah, that's the that's uh, the. You want to play your drums? Mm-hmm. You know, just tap it on. That's what they advertise. Is yeah. you can play it as a drum, but there's actually there's really a little more wide versatile than yes. that. Yes. If okay. you're st- still interested in the MIDI, we did this live stream on there. It's called MIDI. What MIDI? MIDI Y. y. <laughs> it's on the previous stream. You can check it out. You there. can check it out. That yeah. would be a uh, a good place for y'all to learn more on mm-hmm. MIDI controllers, all right? Yeah. And why you might why want you to have a MIDI, MIDI controller, yeah. right? Just so now I've talked about my Zoom audio interface. I see some desk looking interface there. So yes. Can you show it? All right. So now we are moving over to the Mackie's audio mm. interfaces. All right. Uh, one of the most uh, entry level ones that we could start with is, as I mentioned earlier in the example, is the Onyx Artist. And uh, one of the things good is this allows you to do your two track recording again. Yeah. And then you also have your microphone input so you have your XLR. phantom power xlr here mm-hmm. so you can use phantom power for your condenser microphones and then you also have uh, the quarter inch instrument input so you can put your instruments in yeah okay then you have your headphones and you have your speaker controls uh, speaker outputs yeah, behind here it. okay full quarter inch outputs All there. yes yeah. and this is a good uh, starting point uh, mm-hmm. because number one is built like a tank yeah. It's it's really strong, all right? Mm-hmm. Uh plastic. Oh, sorry. Metal. It's metal. It's yeah. it's actually a I don't know if it's aluminum body. Pla- plastic on my side. <laughs> yeah. So this one will last you the uh, for whatever you're going to do, yeah. right? And you don't need any separate power supply. It runs off a USB control, I mm-hmm. mean USB here. So this would be a good place if you're starting to do your own uh, music or you are doing yeah. your own live stream, podcast, uh, you want to probably stream a live performance that you're doing, a solo performance like uh, probably you on a keyboard or you on a guitar and yeah, with a vocal, just sing, just sing yeah. and you are doing it. This would be a very nice one for you to start with. Mm. All right? And the price for that will be 520 Yep. So... Oh, yeah, talk about that. Just now, my audio interface here have a combo jack, but that doesn't have... Do you have any combo jacks? Yes. And talking about the combo jacks ones, that goes to the Onyx Producer. Okay. Uh, the Onyx Producer is a very... Uh, a bit more advanced on the uh, inputs. As you can see, we have the combo jacks. Uh, means that you can have XLR or quarter inch. So both of these can be used for putting in a, as a stereo input or you want to use two different microphones or you want to use two different instruments. All of that can go through simultaneously. Mm-hmm. And it will be recorded on two separate tracks on your uh, software, DAW software. Now, the nice things about these uh, Mackie uh, products is that they do come with a free DAW software. Not a uh, so software. Not uh, they come with two softwares. different softwares. Ah. Yeah. You get the uh what is that? the Pro Tools. Pro Tools. Pro Tools first. And then and you also get the, the waveform. traction waveform. Mm-hmm. OEM. Not, yeah, the, not the free. Not the free, yeah. Uh, it's the OEM. Uh, so you get a lot more uh 
plugins and things like that to play with. Mm-hmm. So these guys, uh, basically, Mackie has already given everything you need in order for you to start. All you need yeah. is to get this and probably get yourself a good microphone. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, you can choose whether you want to use a headphones or use yeah, monitor speakers monitors. or both. Yeah. And that would give you a very good place to start mm-hmm. off. Uh, this is considered somewhere in the... I wouldn't intermediate say intermediate. I mean, budget-wise, it's still not yeah, too. Yeah. It's not. It's no, not up there yet. Yeah, You're not, not talking even not. in the intermediate uh, yeah. budget anymore. It's seven. It's still seven five. Yeah, it sells her five just for this. Um, again, this added on probably a good microphone and a headphones. You can probably go within like a thousand, three yeah. thousand, four. You can get a really nice, really, 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 nice, really, really nice setup. Yeah. And on top of this, these things have the as I mentioned, this has the Onyx uh, mic preamp built in, uh, which mm-hmm. gets a beautiful sound. The uh, mic preamp plays a really important uh, role yeah. when you're doing odd, uh, vocal recordings because your vocals need to be clear. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, true, true. So that's where these guys come in. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, moving up from here, there's uh, one big guy there. There's one big, m- massive one over here. Mm-hmm. All right. This would be known as the Big Knob Studio. I've seen you <laughs> having trouble carrying it also. <laughs> All right. So if you are looking to get a good setup for your studio, yeah. right? And your home studio, you're looking to set up something a bit more intermediate kind of uh, setup already, where you're going to have multiple types of uh, monitor speakers, and then you're also going to have multiple headphones. Maybe you got two people listening to music at the same time or doing recording simultaneously. You know, you want to run two different headphones. This guy comes into play now, all right? Mm. The beauty of this is that it is quite a bulky one, yep. but this is really perfect for you to just set on your desktop in front, okay? As you can see, you have a lot of inputs Crazy and outputs Crazy lots of here. inputs there. Yep. So this is, uh, I'll just show the front over here. Okay. As you can see, it goes a long way, all right? I'm going to start from this side here. This will be our inputs. Uh, you have a combo jack inputs again. Uh, two different combo jack inputs with two different gain level controls. You can select whether you want it to be a stereo input, meaning that, example, if you have a keyboard which has a left and right stereo, you want to put it in, you can go it through here. And it records at a single stereo track. Um, you can also split it so it becomes a input one input two which means that input one is your own one track input two is another track yep so that would make it a really really handy uh, input then you have the next one which is your two track okay two track is your considered for you to like let's say you have a external mixer you want to bring in or external audio you want to bring in from probably a player some bigger players or what like that you can add that in, add in the two tracks uh, source to come in and add that into your recording simultaneously. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, another option you have is, of course, your inputs uh, three and four. Now, the inputs three and four is your uh, stereo input. Uh, it's left and right, or you have a single mono uh, input over here. Oh, All right. Okay. Now, uh, the nice thing about the three and four is the moment you're using that is you're automatically going to be using it as a stereo recording. Mm-hmm. All right, using it in a stereo recording, you have a pad function, so you don't need to uh, trim the gain too much, and it's not going to peak. Then you have your USB controls. You have two different, as I mentioned, two different headphones controls, and you have a uh, input here for your stereo in. Small little, uh, okay, small little guy there. Yeah, <laughs> one eight inch uh, one, yeah. stereo input. So, like, let's say you want to plug in your handphone, then you want to play back music yeah, to yeah. there. You know, that no would be there. You Ooh. also have a mono function. Uh, mm-hmm. This is all going into more uh, advanced usage of a uh, home studio already. Okay, so having the mono function uh, would. Oh, we have a comment from Mr. Francis. Crazy. Mackie audio interfaces have very high quality mic preamps. Yes, yes as mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. uh, these guys all they have what we call the preamps are uh, Onyx mic preamps. Oh, okay. uh, there's a question from Tony. Yes. Can I talk? I have two Behringer condenser mic. Okay. Okay. Uh, what? I have two Behringer condenser mics. If you're going to use two different condenser mics, you will need to have a type of interface which can support two different condenser mics with multiple uh, phantom power. So, yep. for example... Start from my side, I have the 
you twenty four. Yeah, you get if I can get it focused. And on your side, my side, you, you can actually use the uh, this one, the Onyx producer. Mm-hmm. All right, or even the one that I'm holding currently, you can use this because the forty eight volts uh, Phantom Power can support too. All yeah. right, uh, and further on, a mm-hmm. lot of the other mixers and ones also. Come into place. This one that. is really a mouthful <laughs> yeah. audio interface itself because just the import you're really short of breath already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. so, but okay. one thing before you continue, mm. I can just say that this one is a for my really niche market for my community he- community here. Mm-hmm. Okay, look closely. For all the audio files here, if you don't produce or anything, you want to listen, you can get the big knob. It's proven it's the only audio interface that sounds as great as a deck amp. Okay, back to you. Okay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's proven that's, 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 that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. Um, because all these interfaces are running on a, what do you call a 24-bit uh, yeah. audio base, right? So, yeah. Um, cu- moving on back again to this guy. Uh, you have the mono. So, like, if you're talking about stereo separation and things like that, when you s- uh, pan different stereo settings, um, you tend to get lost in the levels. So you want to adjust the levels to make sure that the levels are all correct. Mm-hmm. You just mono it. So okay. then all the, wherever the situation is, uh, you've put on the left, on the right and all, you combine it into one, bring it out for you so that you can make sure that your mix is going to be balanced okay. before the separation starts. Yeah. All right. But there's only two things that uh, jump out of me of this. The, uh, besides this being sounds super good, you can A-B test speakers on yes. this and there's a microphone built in on this yep exactly it has a microphone for you to use as a talkback level mm. I mean, you can talk back uh, if let's say you have your recording being done in another room yeah. so and this is the control here you are the control I'm performing here yes. there's a glass wall there's a like glass wall here new studios there. Yeah. yeah and then I have this over here with me yeah. I can talk to you mm-hmm. just Using by the hitting the the talk back talk the Q button the Q basically button. yeah you can just show them the Q mm. button on the camera there we go yeah and the, the, the honeycomb looking on the top left there that will be the microphone itself the sky over here yeah so any of your musicians Kind of screwed up. Mm. You can just tell them about it. Yeah, you go like, um, please play the last two bars again, please. You <laughs> messed it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another nice thing is this. Um, let's say you are currently listening to your playback, mm-hmm. right? And your mom enters the room. Oh, okay. All right. You just hit the dim button over here, and it dims it off, and you can just get. Soft, right? soft, boom. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is a really good uh, place for you to start going yeah. to the intermediate side of uh, setting up this your home studio. Really, this one is more than intermediate. This one is really like a. You, it's pretty much there to the professional, the professional level. It's like really nice like to use this. What Ben just said just now is like one fifth of the function this can do. Yeah. This one is like really, really. I it, it might take one whole yeah. live stream episode I think just to more go than this. yeah. The review of watch is around. Th- an hour just yeah, to review yeah, this just to review this one only so and you know what the surprising thing is the price yeah it's 1035 ringgit 1035 ringgit 1035 huh? yeah that's the beauty of uh, Mackie products yeah. alright they are really reasonably priced for what they do mm-hmm. okay yeah so moving on from this uh, is where we go into talking about mixers mixers okay so uh, mixers like these also do function as even this guy over here yeah. do function as audio interface, interface. Yeah. right uh, but they do only have what you call two tracks mm-hmm. uh, basically the like these uh, little guys over here uh, you can only record two simultaneously but the beauty of it is when you want to do uh, group recording and you mm-hmm. just want to record a whole group together to, yeah, yeah. live like a live setup that's where these guys can come in mm-hmm. so you have your own home studio that you are, you probably have a band that's coming over to record. That you want to record everyone together, right? So this is how you're going to set it up. You need proper speakers. Yeah. Uh, probably in another, in the room. In another room. Or even in the room where your computer is, no yeah. problem. Uh, get something if you have a small band. You could probably go something like the Pro FX Six V3 over here. Uh, let's just show them. Yep, this guy over here. You have what you call 24 different uh, gig effects built in. Uh, so you got your all your effects done here. Plug in whatever instruments and all you want to go to and then get your mic set up and just go 
straight record and you can use it to straight record your audio into your uh, software. So this would be a good place to start and the price would be This one is the Pro FX Oh crap six six V3. I think we left it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. The price is seven eighty on this, mm-hmm. right? So it's it's really, really uh good uh, deal on getting the uh this guy here, right? Mm-hmm. But moving up from there is where you would go to these bigger guys if you have a bigger band, right? right. Um, this is already going into setting up uh, a home studio but also for recording live uh, band setups. Mm-hmm. Okay? You can't record multi-tracks simultaneously. Okay. Ah, so that will be the downside about using this kind of oh. uh, mixers. Oh, yeah. And also, I you think talk uh, about the mixers here? We have another comment over oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, from Mr. What? Tony Clarence, Clarence. We, we, we got, got four piece band with a PA system what to use, use for Facebook, Facebook presentation, presentation. alright thank you the good mm. question this is what we are looking for right yeah. um, we are getting there yes okay. if you have a four piece band mm-hmm. and you already have a PA system means that you already got your mixer and everything you just want to go and perform, perform. in a live stream yeah right you're going to set this up now, right? Actually... You can just use even a uh, simple... Just U22 here is already... You could already use that, but yeah, what okay, would be... Use this. Yeah. Well, what would be actually recommended is get something like probably the 24. The tw- yep. Okay, 24 or these guys, the... Uh, this one's over here, the, uh, art, the producers. Yeah. Why I recommend this for you, Mr. Tony, is that you are already going to be playing there. You can take the uh, output from, from the, the mixer, mixer that you're already yeah. using and send it to this. Yeah. And use this to do your stream. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. So that will help you a lot in a your... really, really clean sound. Yes. To it, yeah. Okay. So you're not going to be disturbing what's mm-hmm. being played mm-hmm. on the live uh, in your recording. But what you can actually... Rec- so you can record or you can do, do live. The live stream. Uh, it's going to be separate. Yeah. All right. So Since you already have the PA, they, that's what make it uh, way more easy and lighter. Yes. You can just d- get the laptop there and do a live stream. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But if you're looking to actually move on, that means uh, probably get a whole new uh, mixer would be a good idea yeah, also. Like a mixer uh, with could, audio interface? Yeah, you could probably go for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There. Before that, I also need to mention that the v trees only have the uh, USB. Uh, the, the V2 v- have v- it, v- but on the bigger ones. Big, yeah, yeah, like a real 16 channel. Though, yes, so. but only the V3s run on ASIO. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, they, yeah, they ASIO have ASIO, which ASIO support, a... which means that if you are doing recording, you can actually split the recording mm-hmm. uh, sure. with the inputs and output controls. Okay, so uh, that would be that, all right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Send me more comments. Uh, yes. How, How much, much is, is that? that? For the Onyx? For the Onyx, uh, as mentioned earlier. Just now, that will be 775 for yep. the pr- uh, producer. Mm-hmm. If you want something more affordable, the artist will be 520 Yep. If the U22, that one can set you at back at 370 bucks. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, they'll you can also check our website, yeah, uh, CK Music. Uh, CKMusic.com.my. Uh, uh, it's also down here yeah. uh, for more of this, right? Can I call you after the show? Yes, yeah, Mr. Right. Tony. Yeah. Gladly, <laughs> you can call either of us, uh, yeah. whether me or Max. It's up to you. you mm-hmm. The contact numbers are in front of you. Uh, feel free to call us anytime. All right. Uh, after the show, <laughs> even yeah, even though it's just a question, no problem. No problem. We we are we'll be here to help you. All right. Okay. So now we Jeez. are faced at the at the phase one scenario. We have a band. Mm-hmm. We don't have laptop. Mm-hmm. We have a mixer. How do we record? If you have a band, you don't have a laptop. I want to you have want a to mixer rec- that can record. Yeah. Okay. Now we go into what we call the live tracks. Yeah. Ah. Right. Now, if you're looking at mm-hmm. setting up a really professional, professional. setup, okay, more where than multi track, more than two channels. Yes, more than two channels multi track. So, like example, you have a whole band that is playing, mm-hmm. like probably a five piece band. Yeah. And then with that five piece band, uh, you want to be able to record right. each of them individually so that you can adjust the levels later. Mm-hmm. Uh, now is where we come into the, the live, tracks. live tracks, which is the L12 over L12 here. here, 
or the L8 over there. We and have a bigger, the bigger brother of it also. We have the L20. I can't lift it. <laughs> it's connected. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We have the L20 and the L20R also. But uh, that would be the L8, L8 that we are using currently for yeah. our live stream here today. Mm. Um, it's not today. Yeah, it's not just all today. The all our live streams have been <laughs> no, running not, off the L8. Not, not really all, some of it not, but mm, most but of most it. Most majority yeah. of it. I think yeah. I would say 99% of our live streams are it's done by that. This. And uh, why we would actually show this uh, for your home studio is mm-hmm. actually because you can use this uh, like standalone home. without your... Uh, laptops, laptop, without yeah, your without anything. anything. Just yeah. the unit itself. Just the unit itself. And the power, and power socket. Power socket. Except uh, the L8. Because L8 also, you can, you have run, the, it on you can run it on USB, USB. You can run it off a yeah. power bank or what. Yeah, except. The L12 and L20, of course, you have running off power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, this is a good setup if you're going to set up a really... really, uh, this, really this is already like talking up about there, up really. there where money is no object yeah. anymore. And uh, then again, if you consider... Uh, the price of getting a laptop and all those things and you just want to do it a simple record I think this is still going to be a yeah, move but then it goes into the point of right after you finish recording all the things you can send it probably to someone who's good at doing mastering yeah. and or you are the sound guy itself yeah this one you can just if you don't know how to play music you can you know how to record this yes one. because the the good thing about this is you there's SD card input mm-hmm. on this device itself and you can record like yes. multi track you can l- even though you care this one have twelve input f- make it full let's let's make it full just twelve like all twelve inputs you can using. just record straight up together twelve separate tracks yeah. ah. and it's not combined into one that's what d- makes it really stand out it says twelve different yes which you can yeah. use for post editing later on yeah, all right you can put it in the uh, software this is where EQ everything uh it really uh makes your mm-hmm. Work as a uh, record for recording much, yeah. much, much way more easier, easier, way hassle free. Yeah. And the more good thing about this is you can, yeah, pop the SD card in, you record, and your bandmate suddenly call, hey, the ba- the bassist cannot come today. Oh. Never mind, no? no problem. Just record who is here, yeah. then the bassist come tomorrow and you add can on. Just la. reverse it back and let him listen to uh, the play the, the whole yeah. band that you recorded today. Mm-hmm. You can play everything and then add on the bassist later on. Yeah, uh, let me try grab it and we can just kind of show on the DSLR yeah. here. All right. This so would really be a good uh, place if you're yeah. looking at setting up a really professional setup. Mm-hmm. You know? So we're gonna just give it like a quick run through like how the what is it called like if one bandmate is l- not able to come mm. for the session. So this one is the SEL. I hope you can see it here. Yep. It's written SEL, which means select. That is for adjusting your EQs yeah. and everything. And there's a record and play down there. Yes. So when it's recording, it's bling red. Yes, and correct. It's playing is green. Green. So if you have one, two, three recorded, mm-hmm. and your bassist say, ah, I just want to listen to the drum, the e- electric guitar, I don't want. You can just switch it off. Yep. And at the sides here, you can mm-hmm. see the play, pause, and the skip button, all that. Yes. You can just reverse it back to zero and, and hit the play and just record, record the bass part alone. Yeah, record while the track is playing. Yeah. Which is. I don't think anyone else mm, did. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. But that is what makes this stand out uh, for most home studio users because this makes it become like a one-off. What? You know, yeah. you don't need to sit in front of a computer and yeah. you know m- muck around with a lot of things. Yeah. Use this, record, record everyone go back, uh, then done. you take the SD card, yeah. then you slowly do your things. Or if you are, you are just a sound guy, you don't want the, the band itself to come to your studio. You can just carry this to their house. Charge exactly. extra. Charge just extra. Just <laughs> for you, you know. Charge extra. The transport <laughs> fee. I go to this ha- uh, bandmate A. Record the guitar. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bandmate B. Record the bass. Bandmate C. Record the drums. All that. Yeah. Then you edit so yourself. Your studio is no longer at home. Your yeah. studio is you. Yeah. <laughs> it's more than that. Even though it's a bit off topic. But hey. It's a tip for you. Yeah, Extra yeah. money. <laughs> why not? Why not? Why yeah. not? So okay. this way, okay. This one is a bit too much for you. You say, ah, yeah, no need record too much. I record orchestra, me. L A. This one, ah, uh, no, no, record. Uh, yo, shortage. Uh, don't have. 
take power bank. I think you did a video on that also. Yes, there's you a video on that. L8 with the power bank, right? Yep. And it's a one man bank. Yeah, it's just, just uh, one guy. He just recorded all the Everything different track, it. different track, different tracks, yeah. and we went about it. And uh, this one can also, yeah, same recording up to twenty four bit, ninety six kilohertz. Yes, easy high level and the built in effects also. Yeah. What the L eight is different about that it has this. Ah, uh, can't show the input here, but they also gave you this. Now this is a very special cable. This is not your normal cable. It's a uh. four pole. Yes, it's a uh, what we call a TRRS. Okay, this is what you normally find on your handphones uh, mm -hmm. to use. Uh, Especially those aux cable with the uh, controller with the itself. controllers and with the microphones, the microphones built in. What this can do is uh, this special with the L8 lah. Okay, you can actually use it uh, if you let's say now we are setting up a home studio for doing a podcast, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The L8 is where it really comes in because yeah. uh, number one. Having this, you can actually connect your phone, connect probably your make phone. a WhatsApp call to your friend, mm -hmm. and it automatically does the mix minus for you. Yeah. So uh, basically means that call. what we are speaking in our mics it will be actually well, the microphone for the phone, yeah. and then the audio that comes out of the phone is what we will be hearing yeah, back we'll here. Be hearing. Ah, so, so it's just like what the radio show is. Yes, where exactly. The phone call is exactly the same. Exactly like that. And they also built in some effects. Yep. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's a... Oh yeah, yeah. So you can get things like this, mm -hmm. and that would be where this uh, L8 comes. Yeah, it's where really not, it's not just like for music only. Mm. It's also for the uh, podcast itself. But if you say, "Oh, this one's too, too big, much," they're not. No problem. Here. This is the new. This uh, just release. Yeah. So this, this is, is called the track. As you can see, it's super small, just like a uh, smartphone itself. Yes, these are designed for you. There we go. Four, four XLR in inputs four XLR. Uh, with the uh, phantom power. Yep, definitely with phantom mm. power. Each so get the uh, here individual gain, individual gain control, gain. and you can have your own individual headphone outputs mm -hmm. at the bottom. And here you can select, yeah, individually, four pads for your effects. Mm -hmm. Play, pause, record button. And underneath here, yep, there's your four outputs, the four different headphones for the four different people four that different we on the people. podcast. They make you. podcasts anywhere, hotel rooms, Starbucks, yeah. anywhere, anywhere you can go. Correct. But stay tuned. We also have a bigger one coming soon. Coming soon. Yes. Where it has a way way more cooler and has some yeah pad cells there. Mm. Okay, so oh, now that uh, to mention, sorry about that. The LA will cost one thousand nine hundred and five. Say. 1,905. Mm -hmm. 1,905. I know, for the all the functions that you get, right? It's yeah. mind-blowing, actually. It, it really is. That's why they, when it came, it's gone. It's yeah. never stay for like... It, it will, <laughs> the stock will come in, and within a short while, boop, gone. gone. Yeah. Next stock coming in again. Yeah. And then the L12 gone. will be <laughs> 2,915. It's because still, still yeah. pretty uh, decent price for yeah. it to be actually being able channel. to use. Yeah, 12 yeah. full channels. And the twin, uh, L20 mm -hmm. is the same size as this, right? Uh, like it's the customer slightly always say like, oh, like slightly it's bigger. Yeah, width-wise is the same. It's yeah. a bit longer only. Just a bit. Because, because they, they narrow the, yes. the, the knobs there mm. itself, right? Yeah. Right. So, uh, talking about this entire setup today, uh, what would be the best way to connect all these things okay so if you're uh, going for uh, doing all your recording and you want to connect up just the simple things of course mm -hmm. the usb microphones yeah, as somebody yeah, mentioned yeah. uh or you want to do simple studio recordings you want to set up your home mm -hmm. get yourself audio interfaces uh probably with some nice monitor speakers or a good set of headphones yeah. you're good to go you want to go a bit more professional and record bands, then maybe you might want to consider mixers, uh, audio mixers like this, which also have audio interfaces. Or you want to consider things that are much larger, like the live track series. Yeah. Uh, um, I would say it's, it's a digital mixer and recorder simultaneously. Now, uh, when we are talking about all this, mm -hmm. uh, some some of these come with uh, different softwares, like again, yeah. like mentioned, the Mackies come with the. the Pro traction tools and, uh, and the Pro waveform. tools and the traction waveform. Then you also have the zoom. The Zooms come with some of them come with the Ableton uh, light. No. Is it Ableton? 
Ableton Light. Oh, uh, some of them. Where's the Where's the software? I don't really. Steinberg. Uh, Steinberg. Cubase. Uh, Cubase. Yeah, ah. but it's a light version. Of yeah, these are all yeah. light versions. Yeah. Uh, talk about DAWs. I think there's a new release, right? Yeah. Right, guys. So this is our new shout out. All right, just released today. Uh, this would be the Ableton Live Eleven. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, it is very very known software, yeah. famous. A, uh, lot, of a lot of people actually use it. Music. So if you guys are interested to start your studio, this would be a very place, good place to start with yeah. yourself. Uh, you can get it for very affordable prices. Mm-hmm. Uh, the prices and all were just released today for the Ableton Eleven. All right, this is uh, for you guys watching. Ah, uh, listen carefully. If you are just going to start up the Ableton yeah. Live Eleven intro. Right, the price is four hundred and fifty-five. Okay. Okay, this All is right. the intro, the most basic entry most basic. for your. Right. Uh, this is what we call a DAW software, lah. So yeah. you're recording and all. Yeah. Then you have the Ableton Live Eleven standard, which is comes with a lot more uh, functions, more. I think more more plugins, plugins yeah, more, more plugins effects and plugins yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, yeah. right? Yep. So the uh, standard would be two thousand and sixty ringgit, two okay. zero six zero. Two zero six zero. But if you are a more professional user, mm. where okay. your actual livelihood is creating music, yeah, you make money making yes, music, making music and mm. things like that, then you might actually want to consider the uh, Ableton Live Eleven suit, which would be RM three four. Three four three five. Three four three five. Yep. All right. Three thousand four hundred thirty five. Really up there, really. Yes. Yeah. But in considering the prices of mm-hmm. DAW softwares with plugins, it's actually a good bang also. Yeah. All right. But you can really do a lot. Yeah. So that. guys, this is the new Ableton Live Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can see the pictures over running over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just released today, so you're getting it fresh out of the horse's mouth, right? Today, yeah. <laughs> lots of artists using yeah uh, this this or this DAW. So I don't remember who, but the only one I remember is Dead Mouse. He uses uh, yes. Ableton. There's yeah. a lot of them. Uh, even this guy is what's his name, uh, Daft Punk, who Daft recently Punk, yeah. just disbanded. disbanded yeah. Also, they also yeah. use this, mm-hmm. and you can check it out. There's a lot of them. Lot who use of them this, right? this. Okay, so guys, uh. Just before we wrap up everything, yeah. Uh, yeah. Before we wrap, there's also one one thing I want to address also. So if you until you are still watching now, you say, "Ma fun lah. I don't want to pick it on my own. Very ma fun. Too much stuff already." Mm. Mackie got you covered. It's not yeah. here. They have the bundle itself. Yes. So you can go check out. They have the creator bundle. The Where's the where's the bundle? There's more. There's there. a lot. Yeah. They have the med- yeah. uh, creator bundle, perf- uh, performance mm. bundle. You the have the producer, producer bundle. bundle. Yeah, please. Ah. You can also check it out. Uh, the KL team did the live stream about the bundle. Yes, they itself. did the yeah. live stream along the bundles. Yeah, you yeah, can also check, check it out, out on our, our website. All right. Uh, all these bundles will be mm. there. And be there's more actually we can address. Like yeah, we are on the home studio, right? Okay, for like lectures for gamers, don't don't have. I don't want use webcam. How? Cameras. Cameras. Like what we have today, we are using the Q two N four K. Uh, what we always uses. Yeah, you can just take a show for them. Yep, that's the Q two N four K. We have the Q eight over here. Uh, these are all cameras which you could use if you want to set up your own uh, live stream. Uh, Say live stream studio, yeah. right? These are all additional things that you can, you add, can on add on as you yeah. go on. If right? you're like a like a teacher lecturer, also you get face interaction, like a maybe science teacher or mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. a trainer, the gym trainer, yep. so that we also did that. Uh, go handy. The is the title of the live stream. Yes, talking about the cameras. Yeah. So yes. Go check so uh, yeah. there. basically. The in a nutshell, in a nutshell getting started mm-hmm. with your home studio yes it's a lot, a lot. of uh, equipment but you can in go from just a usb mic itself to go all, all the way out. To all out to your setup there yeah so if you guys are are confused right mm-hmm. that's what we are trying to clarify today yeah right so you guys need to in a very simple way know what you want yes know what you want know what's your budget yeah. All right. Before know what you want, you need to say you need specific. Know what you want to do. Yes. Know what you want. Know what's your budget. 
And I think that's pr- pretty much that's pretty those much three it. Mm. these three priorities. Yes. Yeah. If you know what you want to do or not, like what I was mentioned is yeah. uh whether you want to do a podcast, podcast? whether you want to do a live Produce, stream, yeah. or whether you want to do uh, music yeah, producing, producing records, yeah. or do you want to just do classroom setups? Yeah. Uh, so for setting up your home studios, these are oh, basically the four different categories. Home studios. Yes. So it's not only limited to making music. Yep. There's because it's the ch- the studio term is really gener- general. general very general already. Yeah. And if you don't know three of these, what also don't know? No problem, you can find us. Just come <laughs> find us. Uh, <laughs> okay, find give us, us a call. Yeah. Our give numbers are there. Come to, come to our showroom. Touch yeah. all the products itself. No come problem. to the showroom uh, here yeah. in Ipoh or our main HQ in uh, KL. KL mm-hmm. Jalan Imbi. Mm-hmm. Alright, if you guys are interested, you can go, go and check it out. Alright. Yeah. If you're still like not sure what you want to do, what you want, what's your budget, no problem. Yep. Just come down. And while at that, don't forget to check out our website. Yep. Alright. Our website. So all the product and the price there, mm-hmm. and before we wrap, I think just now we already we did already the conclusion. Already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So let's let's say one more time. You can have a home studio with, with just, just one uh, USB, USB microphone itself to go all out. Go with the uh, audio interfaces for you to set up a simple. Mm-hmm. Uh, audio recording or streaming kind yeah. of things. Your interfaces. Yep. All go into mixers if you're thinking of doing performance type of recordings in your own home, mm-hmm. uh, live streams types. All go all the way out, money, no object. Go for something like this. Lah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, even the monitors itself, we have yes. bigger ones. <laughs> we have bigger ones, right? These oh. are the CR3s. Mm-hmm, CR3s, we have the MRs. Five These four. are good for you to use uh, when you want to listen back uh, mm-hmm. to your recordings or you or want you to use to instrument playing, yeah. things like that. But it's not good for recording vocals with a uh, studio monitor. So it's good to have uh, headphones, headphones if you want to do uh, vocal recording, mm-hmm. right? Or in ears if you are yeah. not into headphones. Then you can also consider things uh, like whether you want dynamic a condenser microphone or dynamic condis- microphones, yeah. right? These are all additionals that will come in to you mm-hmm. trying to set up your home studio based on what you want. If you have yeah. a room that is not treated, then we recommend you to get dynamic, dynamic mics. If you have a room that is semi-treated, Semi-tre- that means like, or even if even it's your it's bedroom. Not, not treated also, we, but it's quiet. Example, I tell you, room. a good example would be a bedroom yeah. because... You don't need to treat your bedroom sound mm-hmm. because you already have your bed, your cupboards, your things and all there. Yeah. It's going to absorb the sound mm-hmm. and it's, it's al- al- already al- quite a treated yeah. environment. Close the door. Uh, then you could actually consider a, con- a condenser mic. How about a shower room? Shower room? Yeah, bathroom. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you want to become a bathroom singer, is it? I think you can. Uh, <laughs> no need to post editing the reverb all yeah, natural. Can lah, <laughs> can lah. <laughs> <laughs> so Alright. Yeah. So yeah. It, okay, one more. If it, this one is too in a nutshell for you too generalized too short we did most of this on the we have individuals done on our live streams individuals on microphone on headphones on studio monitors even uh, the the L8 and all were actually done in live streams so do check out our previous live streams and do all all individual topic on it you can find us on YouTube Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook Facebook. so go check us out we'll be there Right. So there's a wrap for today. Yes, right guys. So thank you so much thank for you. staying with us. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the questions. Everyone who interacted with us. Yeah. Uh don't forget to like, share, share. and subscribe. Right. right and so you can get more viewers and we can get more contents out for you. Yeah. Right. So get the notifications up. So uh, we are doing this daily. Yep, yep, yep. So before we wrap, also yeah, please stay safe. Mm-hmm. Wear your mask. If you come to the showroom, also please wear a mask. Don't take it off. Yes. And uh, flat, let's flatten the curve. Yeah, mm. that's the one. That's why, right guys. So do stay safe, all right? Until next time, we will see ya. Oh yeah, don't forget tomorrow don't the forget. episode yeah. on the base. Yeah. Stay tuned. Come in alive, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs>